Before we begin this video, I'm gonna say that everything in this video is subjective. For example, not having group finder will to most people be what makes classic if you like classic. And to others, it will be a huge waste of time to look for a group than walking to the dungeon and basically spending more time for something that could have been done a lot faster. It's all about how you look at things and in this video I'm only trying to show you what can be negative about classic to some people. So don't hate me please. With that being said, let's look at some reasons not to play classic. Number one is no group finder. If you're going to play classic, you will have to find groups yourself, and you will have to walk to the dungeon by yourself. This is the essence of classic, and it's what makes classic feel like classic, although for some people time is really valuable and maybe they only have one to two hours a day to play video games. If you only have one hour per day to play video games, doing a dungeon would most likely take you two days, since you would spend your hour one day walking to the dungeon and your hour the next day actually doing the dungeon. Finding a group can also take time, therefore some people might not be able to do a lot of things in classic if they have a limited playtime. Not having a group finder also makes everything a lot more difficult since the group finder would find the group for you, teleport you to the dungeon and teleport you back so all you had to do was press one button, then do the dungeon, then press one more button and then you're back to where you were before the dungeon. Not having a group finder also means you're going to have a harder time finding groups for anything you're trying to accomplish. Having the pre-main group finder in both BFA and Legion made it so easy to group up and do anything. Number 2 is PvP. Battlegrounds will not be in Classic from early on, it will be introduced in one of the later phases, basically months after release. Arenas also got introduced in the Burning Crusade, so you won't be seeing them in Classic either. So first off, the way you do PvP will change drastically, since World PvP will basically be all there is in the beginning. The PvP system will also be different in Classic, as back then you get rank based on how many honorable kills you have in comparison to other people. So for example, an average player who PvPs for 20 hours a day will most likely get a higher PvP rank than the world's best PvPer who only PvPs for 1 hour a day. So instead of being rewarded purely based on skill, you get rewarded based on how much you can know life. Of course, a group of skilled PvPers can get far more kills per hour than an average person would, but an average person who plays 20 times more than a hardcore guy will most likely be higher ranked. One positive change is that duels will most likely be a big part of Classic, especially in the beginning with no battlegrounds in the game. You can expect to see duel tournaments hosted by big YouTubers or streamers, or just known people on the server. Duels for gold is a thing, and duel tournaments with gold prizes are a thing, and in my opinion that just helps enhance the community in a good way. World PvP will also be massive, especially in Stranglethorn Vale and in Hillspad Foothills. Those zones will be insane. You also have the Guribashi Arena which might be popular, but at max level there are other zones with more PvP than Guribashi Arena, since that trinket is mostly wanted by completionists or twinks. Number 3 is everything is more difficult. Dungeons take more time, mobs take longer to kill, leveling takes more time, you eventually run out of quests and have to grind mobs, Professions are more difficult to skill up because materials are more rare and no flying mounts makes collecting herbs and mining nodes take way more time. Farming gold is more difficult because you have limited options and limited grinding spots plus less kills per hour. And having enough gold for everything was difficult since you had to pay for so much more. For example, flying isn't free, ranking up spells isn't free, mounts costs a lot and respecting talents costs a lot. The only thing that I can think of that wasn't more difficult in vanilla is raiding, and that's because by now everybody knows the raids, we know the tactics, and we're used to more hardcore tactics, and we have add-ons that can pretty much help us with anything. I mean, we have add-ons that can heal and dispel people, we have add-ons that tell us to move and where to move, when to move, everything you need to do is read on the screen where to go, and if that's too difficult you can even program the add-on to tell you where to go and when to go there with an in-game robot voice provided by the add-on. The only difficult things about raiding in vanilla is that you needed 40 people to raid, and in some cases you needed certain consumables to survive, or you needed certain gear with certain resistance stats. So basically having enough people plus grinding gear plus consumables was the most difficult part. Number 4 is leveling takes longer. For some people, max level content might be the only reason they want to play in Classic, in which case le the leveling process will be a big factor why they won't play Classic. 
Leveling takes way longer in Classic, in fact it takes about 20 times longer in Classic compared to BFA. On a Monk with Heirlooms and Consumables I was able to go from 1 to 60 in 5 hours, and on Classic the world record to go from 1 to 60 is about 4 days and 16 hours, and that is time played. So for someone who plays Classic for 2 hours a day, leveling to 60 would take about 55 days, aka roughly 2 months. Because of this, your decision of which class to main might be one of, if not the most important decision you make, since leveling a new character will take so much time. A lot of people find fun in playing different classes in max level content, for example, leveling a new character then grinding Mythic Plus Dungeons of BFA, while on Classic leveling many alts will, would just take too much time. Leveling also includes a lot of walking, either from quest giver to quest mob, or from zone to zone, and some quest chains even include you walking to another zone and walking back. And since you don't get a mount until level 40, walking that much will take up a lot of your time, which some people might think is negative. Number 5 is gold sellers and spammers. I'm not even kidding, this is probably going to be a thing in Classic, just like it was in Vanilla and in every expansion, until Blizzard introduced the WoW token which killed gold selling to a certain degree. WoW token and Blizzard shop will most likely not be in Classic, at least not for a while, and gold farmers and gold sellers will take advantage of this. Prepare to be spammed by someone linking you a website to buy gold and when you ignore them they show up 5 minutes later on a new character whispering you the same message over again, and when you ignore that guy, someone else pops up later spamming you again. Your ignore list will fill up very fast with gold sellers and also be prepared for people sending you fishy messages with links to websites to grab your account information. Never click on any website link that ends in anything else than battle.net. Make sure the link you click is verified before clicking it and you can do that by doing a quick google or reddit search and that should do the trick. Back to the gold selling part, this will be a part of classic because of now no wow token and people will want to get gold without farming for it, and gold is very valuable in classic. Mount training costs a lot, certain mounts costs a lot, consumables costs a lot, professions cost a lot, and some people just won't have the time to do everything they want to do, plus farm gold. For example, let's say somebody wants to play classic to be a high-end raider plus get the highest PvP rank, aka high warlord for horde or grand marshal for alliance, because they never got there back in vanilla and this is their second chance. They will need a lot of enchants, consumables, gear, gold for repair, potions and much more for both PvE and PvP and they simply won't have time to farm gold on the side. Therefore they will want to buy gold and gold sellers will take advantage of this. As a bonus reason not to play classic I'm also going to mention griefing. Griefing was a big part of classic in different ways, the biggest way this happened was by ganking others in world pvp. So for example a level 60 player would run around stranglethorn veil vale, killing level 30s for leveling. Most people only killed each player once but there were also douchebags who camped you for several kills for minutes or even hours. In some cases people would log on to their main to guild the ganker if they had a main, or they would call a friend for help. This was also a big start for world pvp as if somebody wanted they could uh, ask their guild for help killing their ganker and then the ganker who got killed would ask his guild for help and then he got some massive guild vs guild pvp action. However, if you play on PvE realms, world pvp should not be an issue. There is a way to grief people in pve environments as well though. The most well known way is to camp level 10 hunter quest mobs, so newly dinged level 10 hunters won't be able to tame the pets required for their quest. Once a hunter starts to tame a pet, you can kill it, which makes him fail his quest. The hunter also only has 3 charges on his taming rod, so this way you can potentially waste a lot of the hunter's time. Also, if the hunter is camping a rare like Lupice or Broken Tooth, when it spawns, if he gets a tame tag, you can kill it and waste his time so he has to wait for another respawn. You also have the obvious ways like pulling a high level mob and kite it forever into a low level zone and then kill the low levels with the mob's AoE attacks. This requires you to find a mob with a decently strong AoE attack though and you need to be able to soak some hits from the mob while kiting it. So there it is, making this video actually took a long time because finding reasons not to play classic was difficult for me, since I am really hyped about classic and I think everything about classic is fantastic. 
but after doing some research I can say that these are probably the biggest factors why somebody would not want to play Classic, but some of them can also be reasons why some of people decide to play Classic. For example, the Dungeon Finder not being in Classic is something I think most people are happy with, but I can also understand why some people would want the Dungeon Finder in Classic. I felt like after making my 5 reasons to play Classic video, I kinda had to make a video about why not to play it as well. If you haven't watched my 5 reasons to play Classic WoW video yet, I will leave a pop-up at the end of this video that you can click on if you want to watch it. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure you leave a like on it, and with that being said, I will see you in the next video.